Scientist Dina Bandusaho is trying to prove the smallest of things can help solve one of the world's biggest problems. For 25 years, he's been peering into microscopes at algae, the organisms many of us see as unwanted pond scum. But he, among other scientists, have discovered this green-looking goo can actually be a weapon against global warming. How amazing are algae? They're beautiful. Microscopic to macroscopic. You can find them very, very small under the microscope. You can also see the algae, which can grow up to 70 meters long in the ocean like your giant kelp. He's using this beautiful algae to create what amounts to a carbon-eating car. It works like this. Algae is poured into a container on the car. The tailpipe is fitted with a device that channels the exhaust through a tube and into the clear container. The carbon dioxide coming out of the tailpipe goes directly into the container. Sahu says algae can capture carbon dioxide and with water and sunlight, the algae multiplies and oxygen is produced as a byproduct. Bye-bye greenhouse gases, hello, pure oxygen. Sahu made this rough prototype for $500 and fixed it to his old car. The problem with the invention as it is right now is nobody wants that on the top of their car, but our inventor here says that with the help of the automobile industry, it will get sleeker and become much more desirable. They have been all trying for the hybrid cars, hydrogen cars, which are very, very expensive. And this is a very simple device which can be fitted into the car. When it's time to replace the contents of the box with new algae solution, scientist Saho says the waste can be turned into biofuel, which could in turn power vehicles. Worldwide, hundreds of millions of dollars have been poured into biofuel research. But there are experts who say they don't think algae-based biofuels would perform well in vehicles. And then there's the issue of building the infrastructure to create the biofuel, which would be hugely expensive. It would require a great deal of investment from industry and government policy to encourage its use. Still, Sahu hopes his relatively cheap invention can help cure the world's rising temperatures with seaweed. Sarah Seidner, CNN, New Delhi.